Hello, ghost hunters. It's getting cold in here. With the Ascension update, we saw major changes with temperatures. Probably the most notable change is to freezing temperatures or cold breath. In previous versions of Phasmophobia, discovering freezing temps was likely one of the easier evidences to find. Finding a room with cold breath meant that not only had you found your ghost, but also evidence of your ghost type. The Ascension update changed all of this. Now players often have freezing breath meaning that it is cold, but not necessarily freezing. This means players will have to verify the freezing temperatures with a thermometer. Because of this change, the thermometer is now a starter item, and you will receive one in every investigation. So let's go over each tier of the thermometer. The Tier 1 thermometer is an old-school thermometer, which is mostly extinct these days, although we've somehow found one for our investigations. There are many benefits to this thermometer, including that it is not electronic and that it is completely passive. In other words, players can bring this item in and leave it on the floor to check periodically for freezing temperature readings. Also, this new design includes both Celsius on the left and Fahrenheit on the right. This item has a medium accuracy rating and a low sample speed. The Tier 2 thermometer looks very much like our previous thermometer. The main difference is that now players must hold their use button to get a reading. While this is more immersive than the Tier 1, it is also somewhat annoying because the same button that turns it on is also the same button that takes the reading. Because of this, players may find themselves clicking and holding in frustration to turn off or take a reading, especially in high-tension situations like at the beginning of a hunt. This item has high accuracy, a medium sample speed, and it is electronic, so players should turn it off when not in use and should not hold it during an active hunt. The Tier 3 thermometer is a bit odd-looking. Maybe you remember the short I released recently where I mistakenly thought the thing on the side was a microphone, and thus making this item the spirit box. Certainly, I'm not the only person to have made this mistake. This item works exactly like the Tier 2 with the same button frustration I previously mentioned. It has high accuracy, a high sample speed, and it is an electronic. So, players should turn it off when not in use and should not hold it during an active hunt. Before I get into my recommendations for which tier is best, let's talk about tips for getting freezing temps. First, freezing breath happens around 5 degrees Celsius or 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Seeing this breath does not mean your ghost has freezing as evidence, although it may help players find the ghost room. Likewise, the thermometer is fairly reliable for finding the ghost room as this room will likely be colder than surrounding areas. As of the release of this video, ghosts will lower the room temperature to 1 degree Celsius or 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you see anything below this, even if it is not technically freezing, you know your ghost has freezing temperatures as its evidence. To repeat, if you get a reading of 0.9 Celsius, your ghost has freezing temperatures even if it is not yet freezing. It's also worth noting that a room's temperature can decrease and show freezing if the ghost is in that room, even if it is not the ghost's room. These rooms can return to normal temperature after some time if the ghost leaves the room. I should also mention that having snowy weather will increase how quickly players can determine freezing temperatures as the map starts off at already very cold temperatures. Okay, so which thermometer is the best? Hands down, the Tier 1. I'm not sure why the Tier 2 and the Tier 3 are so bothersome, but both of these items seem to be very slow at reading freezing temperatures. In most of my hunts, once I've spent more than 10 minutes gathering evidence, if I'm still missing something, I assume it's likely freezing. I've had several hunts where waiting more than 15 minutes never produced freezing temperatures, even though it was evidence of the ghost type. As far as tools go, the Tier 1 thermometer is less of a bother and tends to be more accurate because it doesn't fluctuate as much as the other tiers. I will say that if you want to use the thermometer for finding the ghost room, the Tier 1 is not the way to go. This is the only area where I feel like the Tier 2 or the Tier 3 are better for the job. Do you agree with my assessment of the thermometer? Which tier did you think was best? Let me know in the comments.
Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting.